Well, I wanted to say Happy New Year to everyone because it is, what, January the 16th and I haven't uploaded a video at all this year. So I thought, hmm, might want to do that. Because I know if you all are like me, when you subscribe to a channel, you want to see some videos from that person. Even if, you know, it's nothing specific. You still want to see something or hear something from them or just, you know, especially if you, you know, you, you enjoy that channel. So I picked up some more subscribers. I don't know how that happened when I haven't even uploaded any videos. Maybe I need to uh, not upload so many videos. But um, at any rate, thank you to all of you all who have subscribed who have subscribed to me because, um, you know, like so many channels, you may start off on here doing one thing and it evolves into something else and, or it's just very random and I'm very random, but, um, I wanted to say hello to a couple of my co, well, they're not my coworkers, but they're people that work at the same company that I work for. Um, I, I saw I had a second subscription and I'm pretty sure that the one person told the other person, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not so sure after all. But anyway, I'm shouting out to y'all. That's all I can say. Um, Nameless615, that's somebody that uh, I have become very close to. Once you start putting videos on YouTube, you make friends just like you would on Facebook or any other social network or medium or whatever you're using to you know, connect with people and meet new people. And, you know, I'm real cautious about, you know, who I talk to. But um, Nameless is very, a very, very dear friend to me now. And uh, she's, she's like a sister. And I just wanted to shout out to her as well. And then, yeah, I bet you're saying, well, look at your hair, girl. Yes. I haven't flat ironed my hair in years. And I did go and get it. Uh, my ends trimmed, I think it's been now, it may have been now a year ago. I went to Pure and Healthy Hair Salon in Las Colinas. And the lady there, she did my hair and she straightened it and all that stuff. But prior to that, I hadn't, I hadn't personally, because I normally do my own hair. I only go into a salon to see what the latest and the greatest is that they're using technique wise and all that good stuff now there's another lady uh vivi love 82 who has a channel and she uploaded a video where she straightened her hair and i have been kind of debating because you know when you go natural you don't really want to you know put heat on your hair or anything like that but then if you you know, taking care of your hair and loving it properly, then um, your hair should be fine. And you know, everything dealing with hair and anything else, you all know, you have to tailor it to your specific needs and what you want to see happening with your body, your hair, your life, whatever. So um, this uh, video that uh, Vivi Love uploaded, I was going to show it to you. I'm See? here just to show you how my hair is looking. My sister just straightened it for me. It was a long process, but it was <laughs> really, really worth it. She took about an inch off, so I'm just going around and show you guys what it looked like. See how much it's grown? I'm so excited. It's my first time I'm straightening it, guys. Okay, so, guys so with that being said, I watched that video, Vivi Love. I watched your video, and I was thinking... I want to go ahead and see what mine looks like straighten. And I, like I said, I do my own hair. I cut costs however I can cut costs. And I've always done my own hair. So uh, that's no big deal to me. So I um, I straightened my hair and I, I, I blew it dry after I put some protective. First of all, let me tell you what I did. I washed it. I colored it. And I, I made sure, you know, I use something that isn't, you know, going to strip my hair, mess it all up or anything like that. I'm very cautious with things like that. I, um, I, I will tell you, though, I, this time I used Clairol. And it had no ammonia and no peroxide. So that was good for me. And like I said, you have to do everything. Make sure you're taking care of business. And, I mean, I believe anything, you know, you do will be fine. So I, um... After I colored it, I did a, um, before, let's back up. 
I washed it, I deep conditioned it, then I colored it, then I um, applied a, con a leave-in conditioner, which you all know I like, um, the Giovanni leave-in direct, or direct leave-in, I think is what it is. Hold on one second, let's see here. Y'all know I do this all the time. I'll show you what I use though. Oh, and for the deep condition, I made my own deep conditioner up. I won't go through the uh, trouble of telling you all what that was because you kind of have to do your own thing. You have to figure out what your hair likes, what's good for you. I'm trying stuff in terms of making my own deep conditioner. But um, I will tell you, it was everything that was in my kitchen. I didn't go out and buy a deep conditioner. But um, I shampooed with this which is the Giovanni, just so y'all can see that. And then I, I, after I did the deep conditioner, I left it on for probably, oh, it was probably on for an hour. I just put a bag on it, because I usually use a heat cap, and I didn't have a heat cap, so what I did was tripled up a bag. Because when you buy those bags from the regular general beauty supply, Sometimes those bags don't fit over your hair when it's all poofed up. So what I did was triple bagged it up like front, back, and then one over the top. And that way it definitely was going to steam up because you know your, your scalp is, is going to heat everything up. But um, this is what I use after I put the color in. And this isn't something I've always liked. I kind of go back and forth with that so I use that. And as a heat protectant before I blew my hair out... Um, I love this. This is Silk Elements. This is really nice. It doesn't make your hair heavy where it won't um, have body. And as you can see, it's, it's nice and smooth. It feels good and everything. Um, but there it is again, just so you all can see what that is. Silk Elements. And um, it's, it's that sheen light just so you get an idea of what it's like. So it's got a nice sheen, but even though that's slippery right now, it's it's not bad. I mean, it, it's really nice the way it goes in. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you all. And I'm going to make some more of that shea butter um, mixture that I use when I do my two strand twist, because that's all I use is that shea butter mixture from uh, Natural 85. I make that mixture that she uh, shared on YouTube, and I that's all I use between that and water when I'm doing my two-strand twist and Bantu knotted up, and that's it. But um, this is the shea butter. Everybody's familiar with seeing this in the beauty supply. But I just wanted to share a few things with you just so you all would know. I wanted to say Happy New Year, and... Uh, and to Vivi Love, uh, yeah, it kind of encouraged me to go ahead and flat iron. So I just wanted to say that to you. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. And uh, man, hopefully I'll get to go to some games or some performances this year. My nieces are involved in some stuff, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, other than that, got some other things I want to do. We'll see how that goes as well. I hope you all are doing well. If there's something you want to share with me, please do. You know, if you're on here and you don't have any videos yet, you could also upload a video to me in response, a video response instead of just a simple comment. That would get you started if you're thinking about uploading a video. How about that? Anyway, I'll chat with you all later. Hey, keep it easy, but make it good. All right, talk to you later. Bye.